Hi there, in this video I'm going to do a pass exam paper question on integration. So let's take a look at the question. So question number 7 part A, show that 3 minus root x in a bracket squared divided by root x can be written as 9x to the power minus half minus 6 plus x to the power plus half. So let's see how this can be done. Let's go to the paper and pen. So here's the fraction. So let's simplify this. First of all, I'm going to do a side calculation and expand the numerator. So let's multiply out 3 minus root x squared. That is the same as writing 3 minus root x multiplied by another 3 minus root x. So let's multiply. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times minus root x is minus 3 root x minus root x times 3 minus 3 root x and minus root x times another minus root x is plus x so remember if you multiply two roots of the same term ignore the roots so simplifying further we'll have 9 Adding the like terms, minus 3 root x, minus 3 root x is minus 6 root x, plus the x at the end. I'm going to go one stage further. So instead of having roots, let me rewrite this root x as x to the power of half. So remember, root is the same as the term to the power of half. So I'll write it as 9 minus 6x to the half plus x. So this is a side calculation for the expansion of the numerator. So let's incorporate this in the main calculation. So we have 9 minus 6x to the half plus x when expanded divided by and root x is the same as x to the power of half below. Now what we can do here is we can go one stage further and we can only do this with pluses and minuses in the middle we can divide each term on the top again provided that if you have pluses and minuses in the middle we can divide each term by the denominator term so meaning that I can divide a 9 by x to the power of half the bottom term minus so a minus I can also divide the 6x to the half by the denominator term x to the half plus so a plus also dividing the x by the denominator term x to the half so I've divided each term in a numerator by the denominator term and you can only do that if you have pluses or minuses in between now let's use the rules of indices to simplify each of these terms one of the rules remember is if you have 1 over x to the n that is x to the minus n and another rule is that if you're dividing two terms having the same base we subtract powers so it's x to the power of a the top power minus b the bottom power so it's important that we apply these rules to help us simplify further so let's have a go so we have 9 keep the 9 as it is 1 divided by x to the half, according to this rule here, is the same as x to the power minus half. Minus the 6, so let me keep that constant as is. The 2x to the half, so you can cancel up and down. Plus, and let's use this rule to simplify this final term. So x to the power of 1 divided by x to the power of half, according to this, is x to the power 1 minus half so it's top power minus the bottom power 1 minus half is half so that completes part a so it's simplified so if you go back to the question that is what the question wants our answer as so we need to show that this answer is 9x to the minus half minus 6 plus x to the power plus half and if you go back to the paper and pen we indeed have that so part A is complete. Now going back to the screenshot, given that dy over dx, so in part B, 
dy over dx is given as 3 minus root x squared divided by root x and we have the value of y so y is 2 over 3 when x is equal to 1 and the question is we need to find y in terms of x so let's go to back to the paper and pen so this is what we have dy over dx given in the question is 3 minus root x squared over root x and we have the x and y values given now if you notice in part a we've simplified this fraction so I'm going to take this answer and rewrite dy over dx so dy over dx as a result of the solution of part a we can write that as 9x to the minus half minus the 6 plus x to the plus half now if we go back to the question it says find y in terms of x so back to the paper and pen if you if you're given dy over dx to find y what we need to do is we need to integrate dy over dx so if you're given dy over dx to calculate y we need to integrate now if you're unfamiliar with the concept I have created a video explaining the concept and I'll provide a link to that video in the description below however let's get back to this problem so we need to integrate and we're going to integrate dy over dx which is 9x to the power minus half minus 6 plus x to the power plus half with respect to x now when it comes to integration remember the idea when you integrate we add 1 to the power and divide by the resulting power so let's tackle the integration over to the reverse so y is equal to let me keep the constant 9 as it is so leaving a 9 when I integrate x to the minus half add 1 to the power so it's minus half plus 1 which is plus half so it's x to the power of plus half but you need to divide by so don't forget to divide by the resulting power which is plus half let's follow through so when you integrate a constant it's going to be a constant x so that there's a quick way to think about this one so when you integrate minus 6 which is a constant it's minus 6x so we have minus 6x so that quick idea only applies to when you integrate a constant so if you integrate any constant it's a constant with x plus so a plus integration of x to the power of half add 1 to the power so half plus 1 is 3 over 2 so x to the power 3 over 2 divide by the resulting power which is 3 over 2 not forgetting to add a c so c is the constant of integration so we have y in terms of c so we've integrated however if we go back to the question we have that y is 2 over 3 at x is equal to 1 now we can use these values to calculate the value of the integration constant so if we go back to the paper and pen, this is what we have for y. Let's simplify before we use those values. So 9 divided by half is 18. So 18x to the half minus the 6x. 1 divided by 3 over 2 is 2 over 3. x to the power 3 over 2 plus c. And if we use those values, so y is 2 over 3 at x is equal to 1 let's calculate this integration constant c so y let's replace by 2 over 3 that is equal to 18 x replaced by 1 to the power of half minus the 6 x replaced by 1 plus the 2 over 3 x which is 1 to the power 3 over 2 plus c so this is what you have as a result of replacing the x and y values and if we simplify let's have a look so 2 over 3 on the left will be 
18 times 1 to the half is 18. 6 into 1 is 6. 2 over 3 into 1 to the 3 over 2 is 2 over 3 plus C. And if you rearrange for C, you might find that the value of the constant C is minus 12. So this is what you should have for the integration constant. Now, once you have the value, replace that in this equation for Y containing C. So if I replace the C into this equation, we'll have Y. Y is 18, X to the power of half, minus the 6X, plus the 2 over 3, X to the power, 3 over 2, plus C, C is minus 12. So this should be the answer to this part. This should be the answer to part B of question 7. So if you're unfamiliar with the concepts that I've used to solve this particular question, I'll provide links to the videos explaining the concepts in detail in the description below. However, this completes the question and this sadly ends the video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find this video helpful. If you found the video helpful, a like rating is very much appreciated. Do plenty of practice related questions and I hope to see you again. Thank you.